Peace and high frequencies, everybody. Black Fit Wish to Dream Oracle is here. I almost thought that I wasn't going to have time today to share this um, dream message with you. But I do. <laughs> I'm headed to go work out. And I was like, on my way to the gym, I am going to share this message because me and, um, oh, it's not Divine Connection 228 no more, girl. I forgot. What is it, Divine Honey? Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm messing up her name. It's not Divine Connection 228. She upgraded. Um, but it's, I believe it's uh, Divine Honey. Well, we've been uh, going back and forth and messaging about um, these cosmic partnerships and cosmic connections. And some people may call it uh, twin flame or, you know, whatever. I, I, I definitely would like to go with uh, Divine Honey and, and the cosmic partnership um, because there is a pattern in the partnership and um it's some things that are going on and once you recognize it you can just flow in it and you don't get emotionally caught up into the thought process of what relationships are supposed to be because we have been dropped into this realm and um and there have been uh, already created way that we're supposed to interact with our complement and it's not all necessarily the truth it's not all necessarily the same for all of us um some of us have these cosmic connections and partnerships that are different it's not a storybook um it's really what i want to say it's not storybook it's not like that um so my dream last night <laughs> my dream i feel like it's not just for me um like i always say when i do share my dreams i feel like it is a message uh, for more than just you know all aspects of me but all aspects of um the consciousness that walks um in a physical form on this realm as we are working to try to figure things out and so um in the dream in the dream last night, uh, the first part of the dream, I was in a relationship with Tyrese, the um, singer, entertainer, model. And so, um, in the dream, and I've never been attracted to Tyrese in no type of way, but here he is in the dream. <laughs> um, and so, in the dream, um, we had this connection where... Um, we were in a relationship and it had nothing to do with him being an entertainer or a model star anything It was just me knowing him outside of what everybody knew him out to be uh, People knew him to be a singer entertainer and I end up uh, Was invited he invited me to come to one of his performances And I end up wearing all white and he was wearing all white and we did not plan it um, and he did his performance and then we went on and he had me sit at this table he had some ladies move and was like she's sitting right here you know and we had this unspoken connection like i knew him outside of the role of entertainer that he had to be for everybody else that's looking on right so um to everybody else just like you know we probably know people as oh that's the actor from what 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 and that's the um singer from this group and all that kind of stuff well i knew him deeper than that i knew him for the individual and not the character all right and not the persona all right so that was one part of the dream and then i i wake up <laughs> and because i fell asleep on the couch i wake up and i go into my bed and i go back to sleep and then i have another dream and then in this dream, I'm in an interracial relationship. Um, and in this interracial relationship, we, were, we weren't able to allow people to know uh, that we were together. Um, I was black, he was white. And um, we hung around um, most our white friends. And so when they were around, we couldn't express and show affection and love for each other. Um, the only thing we could do was act as if we were just friends. And then he acted as if he was interested 
and another girl that was white but he really didn't like her but for social um purposes and of course uh the so-called racial guidelines in this world um he had to pretend as if he was interested in her and not me and we didn't have any type of connection well in the dream my emotions weighed heavy in that dream because i felt like you know i was tired of playing a role i was tired of you know being someone who nobody knew about and yet we had this strong connection but yet we couldn't share it and we couldn't say anything we we and i was tired of being someone who was um a secret and so it, it it weighed really heavy on me that i was this secret relationship and yet we we had this strong bond we had this strong connection but we couldn't tell anybody and so i was battling in the dream realm i was battling you know should i just let it all go should i just leave it alone like um should i come out and tell him like we need to let people know like how should i deal with this right so those were the two dream divine connection scenarios and i'm getting ready to break both of them down um, because sometimes people will look at dreams as like as specifically what is showing you and and, and as we um, um, are moving along in our spiritual journey and spiritual walk and uh, connection to force then what is needed to be seen within a dream will be told to you force will guide you and lead you and tell you what it is and so when I woke up the song that was playing in my head was lately by Tyrese have I told you I love you lately? Do you still know you mean the world to me? Right? And so if you you don't know the song, then just go on YouTube after you watch this and just play lately. And even if you do know the song, play it again. I played it about four times this morning. And so um, that was a song that was in my head when I woke up. And so I, I, I go back to the dream and I'm, I'm, you know, reflecting on that. And I'm just like, okay, so... The divine partnerships are like this. Our divine mate, it could be the masculine, um, is what I saw, has to hold on to this particular persona, a role, a job, family, um, it may be side hustles or with his children. He has this certain role that he has to live up to because that's how people perceive him or see him as this particular type of individual but that's not the connection that you all have the connection that you all have is a safe space he feels connected to you from a higher perspective that he doesn't even understand and he can't even verbalize all right and you are connected because even in the dream room, we had our white and we didn't coordinate that. We just end up wearing it because we're in sync. We're in sync with each other. So you are in sync with your divine counterpart. Um, and you're able to see them for who they are, not for their persona and ego. And this cre this makes and creates an even stronger connection and bond that maybe the compliment your compliment may not even understand because it's so strong it's something so strong that they've never even had before is it something different and strong they never experienced and so uh going into the um song i woke up and i was my my mind was hearing lately singing lately and then i was listening to the words and in the words he was saying you know um that sometimes that like Tyrese was saying in the, in the song, he said, uh, sometimes he forgets, you know, sometimes he doesn't always remember to say, I love you, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. He's saying, hell, if you say it, I'm going to say it back. He was like, he said, things slipped my mind. And that's a fact. Tell me you love me and I'll tell you back. And so in our connections in our divine partnerships we can't get so caught up on ego it's like they supposed to do this and they supposed to do this and she's supposed to do this and he's supposed to do this we have to step out of what we are used to in a relationship in these regular relationships that we've just been getting with people because in this 
divine connection that is ordained and and come come together through the connection of force what you have typically done is not what is going to be needed during this time all right it's going to be you got to wipe away all of your preconceptions whatever you call it of idea of what a relationship looks like what it is what it feels like what he's supposed to do what she's supposed to do like all of that needs to be wiped out clean okay what we do have to do um that is coming to me and it's ain't for everybody so i don't want y'all to think that i'm telling everybody what to do because i'm not what we are going to see ourselves move into now is feminine energy is going to have to be completely feminine energy masculine energy is going to be completely masculine energy all right so the feminine and the masculine when it comes together it's a complete match all right it's like the opposite is of the pole like the negative attracts the positive and positive attracts the negative right so yin attracts yang yang attracts yin 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 doesn't go together yang yang doesn't go together okay so that is what's going on right now when it comes down to you connecting with your divine uh, partner now going into the interracial relationship Drag crazy as hell. Okay, anyway. So, and then he don't want to get out. He did all of that to not get out. Okay, anyway. So, going into the interracial relationship, um, there may be someone, and and this happens in the beginning. Ooh, my camera looks like it. This happens in the beginning of a. This just be prepared, as I've I've gone through it for six years, off and on, y'all. So, <laughs> I'm damn near gonna be. <laughs> me and divine honey gonna be like the masters are dealing with these different divine partnerships because i don't even like calling it twin flame these are just divine force created partnerships connections to your complement um one of the individuals within the connection is on a higher understanding spiritual plane than the other not saying that the other one is not on a spiritual connection to force because they are if they weren't you all wouldn't be together but one of them has a higher understanding of what's going on than the other the other individual won't be able to really understand what's going on they've never experienced a connection and a love force this strong to them it almost feels unrealistic it feels fairy tale it feels like at any point in time this shit gonna fuck up and this ain't what it is this person can't be this loving this person can't be this giving this person can't be all that i've ever dreamed of there's no way in the world that this could ever happen to somebody like me they are not going to understand the connection of the loving energy that you have they're not going to get it they're going to shy away from connecting fully to the connection or giving the connection a chance you're going to see them you know stray you're gonna see them you know not be ready like they're gonna say um, they may not be ready or they they don't think that it's time or just let things go it's gonna be some off and on they possibly will do some things that will push you away they'll do some things that you'll be like fuck this you know i can get somebody else like me and divine honey i already talked about this we be like fuck this i can get somebody to, you know but this is a learning process for both of you all because both of you all are getting ready to ascend to a higher plane of love. So in a situation in which you would normally be like, fuck this, I'm going to just do my own thing. It's going to push you to not. And you're going to be pushed 
to give more loving energy to your compliment and to your partner. Now, it'll also come a time where you feel like, hey, I'm taking for granted. This person is not going towards what they need. They, they know they need to do. They're not. And in that case, just like in the dream where she started to feel heavy, that was me, I'm saying she. But when I started to feel heavy, like, okay, um, nobody knows about our relationship. Like, I don't like how I'm feeling. Um, when you start to feel like that and their partner isn't stepping up, step away. Step away, step out, remove yourself. Um, let them know that this is it. Give them time to get receive their downloads give them time to receive higher information from source because see they're going through an ascension process just like you are they're just learning how to deal with the ascension process that's encompassed with love and they don't know how to deal with it and plus they also have outside challenges that they haven't um dealt with like their um their uh, dark night of the soul, the shadow self, you know, if they never went on a mushroom journey, you know, if they never, you know, went deep into psychedelics, then they don't really know what's going on right now. So all of this is also going to be new, different and strange to them because they're going to start feeling different types of ways and having uh, information come into them and knowings of different things that they never thought would have ever you know, been given to them, they gonna start feeling like a goddamn oracle. All right. So allow them their space. Don't push nothing. Don't force nothing. Know your worth. I'm not saying stay there and not know your worth because it's gonna go through those trials. It's gonna be up and down. Know your worth. Be like, oh, I ain't standing for this. Like, if you don't see who I am, then I gotta step away until you realize who I am and then come back. All right, and that's kind of like what they talk about with the runner and the chaser with twin flames, um, because someone is not going to be really understanding of what this type of love is, because it's it's so strong and it's so different, and you it's not even something that you're forcing; it's something that is just is, and then it's not a love that's an attachment either. Because you can separate yourself and start doing others and you still there and it's not coming from an egotistical root chakra type of place. It's really coming from a strong heart chakra and a crown chakra place of a higher understanding of this connection. All right. So that was my dream, y'all, that I wanted to share. Um, we are definitely in the season of love. I, I'm really loving all the loving energy that we're receiving. Of course, the five planets are getting ready to line up. I think it's Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, all these kind of planets. Are we all lining up, y'all? Um, so everything is coming into alignment. Really, everything is coming to alignment. And we are getting ready to receive. Just don't be so stuck on the past, on the way that you've done things. Be open to be able to change because you're walking into a whole new life, a whole new, new, new way of maneuvering within relationships. All right. And you have to allow that to be. You have to be allowing. You have to be allowing, y'all. <laughs> really, really allowing. All right. So, of course, I'm going to leave you in peace and high frequency everybody.